According to NHS statistics in 2016, around 1 in 12 adults took illicit drugs, with many of these being consumed at summer festivals. A drug safety testing pilot at two UK festivals saw almost 1 in 5 users dispose of their drug once they were aware of the content, with the scheme being rolled out to more festivals in 2017. Louise Holland headed to the Boomtown Festival to find out how the scheme works. The famous British festival. Food stalls, bands, muddy revelers, making memories and... Everyone's going to do drugs in here because it's just what a festival is. Some people are inevitably going to take drugs, so we say, what do we do to reduce the chances of people suffering serious harm as a result? This is the Boomtown Festival in Winchester. Like most UK festivals, it boasts the normal entertainment, plus one new addition, a drug safety testing centre provided by The Loop. We set up The Loop in 2013, and the idea was to provide harm reduction advice and information for young people directly at festivals and nightclubs. And then what we found was that when we were talking to young people, they didn't necessarily know the drugs that they'd taken. So it made sense to us to add forensic testing to our service, so that when we provided harm reduction advice for people, it was directly linked to the specific substance that they'd taken or planned plan to take. Now for some, this idea may be controversial, but not only is it getting the support of police forces and festivals around the UK, it's also gained the support of the Royal Society for Public Health. We are in a situation where drug harm in the UK has been on the rise for a number of years. The number of drug-related deaths are at a record high. The, the death rate in the UK from drugs is almost three times the European average. Um, so we have been clear as an organisation that our current approach in this country to drug harm is not working. We're aware it's difficult for festivals. They don't want to be seen to have a drug problem, but they do want to try and reduce drug-related harm on site. So it's a balancing act for all of us, really. We don't want to encourage your condone drug use but we do want to help reduce drug related harm on site and we think that this can help. But of course for many people the idea of walking into the loop to get their drugs tested could be a daunting experience. So what exactly happens inside the tent? Hello, have you got anything you want us to test for you? Thank you very much. May I ask you some questions about it? In like half an hour you can come back and we will give you the results. Hello, do you have your ticket number? Thank you. Sure, certainly. If you'd like to come with me round to the booth. Your sample that you believed to be an MDMA tablet um, was indeed an MDMA tablet. It was quite a strong MDMA tablet, so around 200 to 250 milligrams of MDMA. It's about twice the normal dose of MDMA, which is, as you can imagine, really quite a lot. And it's down to the volunteers in the lab to make sure the drugs are processed correctly. We have a spectral library that's got thousands and thousands of compounds in it and we match what bonds we're detecting in our sample to that library and then we can match it with the compound. After drug safety testing pilots at two festivals in 2016, 18% of users disposed of their drugs once they were aware of their contents. So what do these partygoers think of on-site drug testing? I think it's a fantastic addition to the festival. I do like, uh, I, go, I play in a band, so we go to a lot of festivals, and it's, um, it's a culture that's always going to happen, so if that's your thing, it's much better that you can find out if whether what you're taking is the right thing and whether it's safe or not. I think it's like interesting for everyone to know what they're taking. Obviously, it makes it safer, so I think it's worth doing. It's a good idea. Every festival should have it, and it shouldn't be something you should be embarrassed about doing. Some would argue that such facilities are actually condoning illegal activity. So to be clear, we're not saying drugs are safe. Drug use is never safe uh, in whatever form um, and we are not endorsing it. What we are saying is if drug use is inevitably going to occur, which it often does at a lot of these events, then we need to provide a safety net. If they don't take drugs, they're not interested in the service, fantastic, they can walk on by. But if they have bought substances of concern, they want to know what's in them, then they can stop and see us.